quick because uh got some epoxy wet um remember how that was pieces it's still wet see i put the glass i just fared it out with wood flour kind of to the shape filled in all the nail holes filled in the seams and as i said i like wet on wet so i'm just going on so i cut the glass laid it on and uh, i'm gonna I'm gonna wet it out. I got it kind of trimmed up to the side. I'll have to I'll have to make some cuts right here, but it's looking pretty good. Um, we're gonna wet it out and go with it. Love to have had help and been able to video the whole process while I was doing it, um, but no go. I did it wet on wet on wet on wet. And then the day I did pick up the camera, the, the battery was dead, so we had a recharge issue. So at this point, this is where I'm at. Um, I would count this as probably three solid weeks. Um, but I'm only just in the beginning of the third week. Remember, I'm trying to get this done for scalloping down there in the gulf. Okay, so um, I glassed. Um, Put my fairing on I think I took that picture before I started to glass so I, I, um, I filled in all the big holes ran wet on wet on wet on wet kept on going until I couldn't do any more meaning I ran the hell out of epoxy so it's not going to be fared down the way I really want it to be but I am not ordering another kit of epoxy for this boat at this point it is just going to be what it is so when I paint it you will probably, you can see right here, there's a little ripple in it. There will probably be some of those ripples. And um, truthfully, I don't care. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build it, put it on the water, slam it up on oyster bars and mud flats and all that stuff anyway. So it's just going to be 100% pure work. Alright, so I taped off where I want my spray rail and primed it. That tells me how my line is by looking at it down the side I'm gonna try to get that on today um, I did a epoxy graphite mixture on the bottom this three coats 10% mix um, and uh, I'm gonna put on my little runners on the bottom um, fair body skegs I don't know what the hell they call them Everybody calls them something different. So um, I'm going to put those on. Uh, I'm going to try not to try not to drill through the hull. And I actually got some regular 3M 5200, but I really just absolutely hate that stuff. It doesn't stay where you want it. It's a pain in the butt. So I'm thinking about trying because I've used this some. I love PL Premium, but this is the uh, Fast Grab, and they say eight times stronger. The other stuff says three times stronger. So, what the hell? What we're going to do is we're going to, I called um, West Systems and asked them how to prep the graphite. And they said for a mechanical bond on graphite with epoxy to uh, just deglaze the top with some 220 so I figured that would be good enough to try this worst case scenario I use this stuff I put these on and it just falls the hell off but I doubt that's gonna happen so because as I said I am not going to go through the hall I'm not gonna put a hole through the hall that's my hole through the hall that's my hole through the hall that's the only ones you're gonna see on this boat um, so if it falls off it falls off that's just life so as I stand now I'm getting ready to glue those on um, and uh, I'll probably put some weights on it and get it all set up so just kind of a kind of an update um, I know I've slacked some but as I said epoxy sucks when you're doing it by yourself there's no time to stop and like Tell people what you're doing. Uh, stainless steel strip on the point of the bow. Um, bought that on. I did a little thing on the Jubilee on that. 
bought that on sale years ago, probably 10 or 15, don't remember now. And um, I used the other half on the uh, Jubilee, which uh, ends up being great um, for beaching it and stuff. So um, I'm going to put the other half here. Um, I put it in with uh, regular deck screws. I will pull those out and um, I have to go get some stainless screws. And I cut out, I cut out that notch there and all um, my my bow hooks going to be right around in this area. I cut a piece of white oak for that and um, I'll do a little segment on that when I get to it. As we already talked about, this boat's on a budget. I'm trying to get away cheap. Not like as in like I'm going cheap, but I'm trying to stay at a certain price range. Um, with that being said, I bought a trailer already, galvanized, used. Got that for pretty good price. Um, the boat will cost me in the end probably around 1200 bucks maybe by the time I'm finished with it. So, I mean, we're doing all right, except for I'm gonna to have to run it with the motor I have on my other boat. So, not ideal, but I just don't feel like spending six grand on a motor, which I think is ridiculous. Although, they do have to put up with a lot of stuff out there. So, I'm cutting my transom to 15 inches which kind of sucks because I want this to be a pretty rough water boat so I'm going to have to do a big slop well in there to catch water that comes in so that's down the line at this point I um, measured my motor on the boat presently and got that distance to the cavitation plate the bottom of the boat and made that measurement there and I'm going from center line out to there uh, 14 inches I'll do a little radius there and a radius there do you want to see how technical I am on those radiuses oh okay I had a piece of round and a mixing can so just kind of did that nothing real nothing real fancy just kind of laid it all out and I'm getting ready to cut that out I guess while I have you on here I did get my splash rails on that's PL premium fast grip this stuff that's a couple hours right there but when it dries, it's darn near like an epoxy fillet, man. It is very tough. So this is what I put that on with. It, it might as well be an epoxy fillet. It's pretty crazy. So anyway, got my, um, got my splash rails on. I was going to go real wide with it, but decided not to. Um, just enough to walk, knock some water down. I was going to make them lifting strakes, but I just don't think I'm going to need it on this boat. It's got a lot of flair. There's my boat building mascot, one of them. She's all upset because there's buzzards flying around. Um, got that stainless steel piece on. Put it on with the PL Premium too. I know they say not below waterline. Who cares? So... So we're moving along pretty good. Um, I'm going to cut that motor well out, or motor area out, and then I'll keep it posted. <laughs> 